what we are really trying to do is to make the direct connection with people that wood is good and it's the best thing that we have to build with. Eleven years ago, the port was starting to explore how do we expand to be able to accommodate 35 million passengers a year by 2045. There was a question at the very beginning, you might have heard it before, how do we do a project at this scale, this big, differently? And on top of that, how do we do it with also supporting the local community? A lot of the wood that you see is from within 300 miles of where you and I are sitting right now. And that is absolutely intentional. Early in the project, we had a decision, do we go steel or do we go wood? We wanted something that was emblematic of the nature and the people in the industry of the region. When we calculated what the difference would be between steel versus wood, we found with wood, we could achieve up to 125% reduction of carbon footprint in the project. This project is unique because you have a nine acre mass timber roof. 840,000 board feet of that is mass ply panel. Its warmth and beauty helps kind of create this relaxed environment for passengers. It also reflects kind of the ingenuity of the people in the region. We have these undulating vaults and domes punctuated by different skylights that help flood the terminal with daylight. Mass ply panel was key to being able to achieve that because the material property of the panel is very strong in one direction, but more pliable in the other. We actually bend and twist it into place so that it forms the vaults and domes that you see throughout the terminal. One of the other interesting aspects of mass ply panel is that it's basically a commodity, but it comes in large billets that allows you to minimize the number of lifts that happen during construction. The benefit to this is that fewer lifts faster time on the construction site. For this project, we not only provided the roof diaphragm, but we also provided the ring beams that are holding up these skylights, the parapet that goes around the entire structure, the decorative elements above the concessions, and we also provided these decorative sweeps that are not only coming down from the skylights, but in the future will we'll also be adorning the escalator areas. The vast majority of the wood in this facility comes from the smaller second and third growth thinnings that really help create the health and resilience in our forest if we're able to do on, the, on a larger scale. We have delivered about 73,000 cubic feet of material on this project, and that's able to sequester about 3,063 metric tons of carbon to help mitigate the, the uh, global warming potential aspects of these types of built environments. It's a win-win all the way around. When I first walked into the new terminal, honestly, I walked in, I looked up, I saw all the, the beautiful wood around me, the reflection of the light through that terminal. And I was proud because my family has a long multi-generational history in the timber industry. And I saw them reflected there. I think the Portland Airport project is the first gateway into Oregon that a lot of people are going to see. It makes me proud of the entire timber industry in the Northwest. And if this connects them with the natural resources that we have available here to Oregon, I think it's a very good thing. There's a lot of love for the Pacific Northwest. Uh, there's a lot of pride for the Pacific Northwest. And so, I mean, just when you come to the airport, whether you're a passenger, you work here, it doesn't matter, you can see how much the local community was involved in building this. I hope what people see when they walk in is that it is rural communities and urban communities coming together for a common purpose. And I know that as millions of people walk through this facility over the decades to come, I'm gonna to continue to feel just this overwhelming sense of pride that we did it here.